Now, from the bleachers to the end zones, Red Irons up and down the coast. Live from the largest sports team on local television, this is Friday Football Focus. A lot of area schools were on by this week. Not Friday Football Focus. We're clocking as usual. Thanks for tuning in. I am Mike Klan. We're going to kick off the big show in rainy Newbury Park. The best ninth grader in the 805 is Panthers quarterback Brady Schmeigel. And we're going to get to uh, Newbury Park's game in just a minute. Here we go. The Black Cat attack taking on the St. Joseph Knights of Orchid, the visiting quarterback. Darian Minsaw making the first big play, third and 10, and he uses his legs to pick up 20 yards on a St. Joe first down. But on fourth and three on their own 47, no punt. They snap it quick, and Aaron Fierro gets the carry, and see you later. 53 yards for the first touchdown of the game, 7-0 St. Joe. Great play call by the Knights. Ensuing kickoff in Newbury Park's Charlie Simmons comes up with a terrific return, breaks some tackles, and Charlie going to return the ball 48 yards all the way to the Knights' 35-yard line. Smigel finding Simmons and the senior as the ball at the St. Joe 20, but we showed you the rain. Several drop passes on both sides, and this drop lands in the hands of St. Joe's Dylan Fleming. The Knights, though, give it right back. Talon Gold read the screen perfectly, steps in front, and the Panthers have the ball in the red zone for the third time in the first quarter, and they finally get some points out of it. Brady Smigel, the freshman phenom, steps up and connects with Cade Foskin, touchdown Panthers to tie it up at seven. Second quarter, Panthers on the move. Smigel back to Falskin, and the Panthers are moving the chains. But it's fourth and six in the red zone. They go for it, and Smigel knows where the marker is. He slides in safe. He's got the first down by an inch. They measured, and the next play, Brady Smigel to Charlie Simmons. Touchdown in PHS. They led 21-7 at half, and they win 31-21. They're 4-0. St. Joe's host Napomo next Friday. The San Inez Pirates brought their high-octane offense to Santa Maria tonight to battle the Saints. Friday Football Focus senior reporter Dave Alley has our highlights. Mike, that Pirates offense is clicking on all cylinders, averaging nearly 50 points a game so far this season. So Santa Maria knew it would have its hands full trying to slow down San Inez. Pirates have dominated the Saints in the long-running series, winning 17 straight games. Last Santa Maria win over San Inez way back in 2001. Early on, Saints defense coming out strong. Pirates having a tough time moving the ball. Armando Silva and the Saints D bringing down Luke Gildred on the sack. But eventually, San Inez gets the offense going. Gildred finds an open. Dalton Beer turns the corner, heads downfield. Big play for the Pirates, taking it inside the 30-yard line. Just a few plays later, last few seconds of the first quarter, Gildred throwing it into the end zone and into the hands of Aiden Scott. Touchdown, San Inez, 7-0, the score after one. Move to the second, Saints offense working on a long drive. Josue Elena connecting with Edgar Preciado. He spins, pushes forward for a first down. Santa Maria moving the chains. Moments later inside the 10, Alfonso Galvez in at quarterback, rolls to his right, looking, looking, finally fires it into the end zone. Caught, but it's intercepted by Nolan Oslin. A flag was thrown, but it's offensive pass interference to the Pirates' defense holds. A little bit later on in the second quarter, San Inez knocking on the door, and it's Cole Swain twisting, turning his way across the goal line for another Pirate touchdown. Pirates led it 14-0 at the half early in the third with the ball. Gildred somehow barely gets it away, throws it downfield, and it's caught by Beard, and it's clear sailing the rest of the way. That covers 68 yards and delivers the knockout punch as San Inez rolls to the win, beating Santa Maria 21-0. With the win, San Inez stays perfect 3-0. They'll now begin Mountain League play next Friday at home with Mission Prep. Santa Maria drops to 2-2. Two two. They'll start Ocean League action here at home with Atascadero. Reporting in Santa Maria on Friday, Football Focus reporter Dave Valley. Back to you, Mike. Thank you, Dave. That Dalton Beard is a load. After losing a thriller last week at Pacifica, the Santa Barbara Dons right back in Oxnard to battle the Yellow Jackets this time in Channel League action. Santa Ray De Los Santos has the highlights. Happy Friday, Mike. You know, it's a pretty even matchup tonight. Both teams are coming in tonight's game with a 2-1 and one record, both coming off some pretty tough losses last week. And oh yeah, it was a wet one. Santa Barbara hitting the road, taking on Oxnard on their turf. And with just in the second play of the game, Oxnard's quarterback Andrew Maria looking to connect with the Yellow Jacket, 
but Andrew Tobin was at the right place at the right time. Now that would lead to this. Santa Barbara's quarterback Abel Renteria connecting with Thomas Gill and that puts the Dons in scoring position. Next play, the handoff to, um, well, see that faked me out. Renteria decides to keep it himself, goes in for the touchdown. Santa Barbara takes the lead 7-0. Oxnard looking to get that one back. Still in the first. Maria going down the field. No Yellow Jackets are anywhere to be found. Daniel Mora says thanks for the assist and heads on into the end zone untouched. Santa Barbara goes for two and they would go on to get it. Don's now up 15 to nothing. We head to the second quarter and the rain coming down at this point. Renteria to Gill again and Gill just making Oxnard work tonight. That's good for the first down. And it was so good that they decided to do it again. Renteria to Gill, this time he finds the end zone. It's now 22 to nothing Santa Barbara. Yeah, that was the current mood over on the Oxnard side, but Yellow Jackets not giving up. Maria throwing it up to Eli Aragon with the nice grab, making all the Dons run after him on this one. Excuse the shaky camera work, but the Yellow Jackets are on the board thanks to Aragon. That's the momentum they needed, but it was short-lived. Next series, Santa Barbara answering back. Kai Moult seems fast on tape of promise. He was even faster in person. Another touchdown for the Dons. They would go on to beat Oxnard 47-7. to Next up, Oxnard will get a chance to rest up as they head into their bye week, and Santa Barbara will host Ventura. For Friday Football Focus, I'm Senorita Los Santos. Thank you, Center Ray. All right, Channel League favorite Pacifica at San Marcos tonight to play the Royals. Pacifica's bus was late getting to San Marcos. Game started about 15 minutes later or so. And speaking of late, Royals can't get the punt off in time. The Tritons, Philip Kim blocks it. Great field position and sophomore tag Harrison throws a dart to Tommy Alfaro. And the senior snags it for the touchdown. Tritons had plenty of TDs as expected. They're one of the top teams in all the 805. Harrison floating it up. Savion Taylor is under it for the catch, and then he plays a game of catch me if you can. Nice moves, great speed. Touchdown, Tritons. It was 43-0 at the half, and yeah, Pacifica rolls 46-7. They're right back in the SB area next week as they're at Dos Pueblos. And speaking of DP, more Channel League action ahead as the Chargers tangle with the Cougars of Ventura. Plus Buena Channel Islands highlights as well.